Whether it's rear or forward facing, always check for and follow the directions for the proper angle whenever any conventional CSRS is used. This video will focus on rear facing CSRS because special directions must be followed to ensure that infants ride safely in a semi-reclined position. First, the CSRS must fit between the rows so the footprint of the CSRS makes proper contact with the seat cushion. Select a bus seat that has enough space between the rows. Often, the front row works best. Also, because CSRS come in different shapes and sizes, if one doesn't fit, trying a different model might help. Most rear-facing only and convertible CSRS have a helpful recline indicator, a mechanism that identifies the correct angle or angles for use per manufacturer's instructions. This indicator must be followed on a school bus just like any other vehicle. Here are only a few of the recline indicators that exist. These fall into two main categories. Level lines, which are reference lines on labels or embossed into the CSRS shell, often say to install the CSRS so that the line is level to the ground. On a school bus, consider the bus floor to be the ground. Other types are called gravity-based indicators. These use how an object, like a bubble, dial, or ball, lines up relative to a specified zone to show whether the installation is correct. When following this type, make sure the bus is parked on a flat, non-sloped surface. Note that some indicators of either type allow or require use that's dependent on a child's characteristic, like weight. These allow older babies and toddlers to be more upright than newborns. The instructions will tell you how to make a CSRS more upright or reclined. So check to see how the CSRS can be adjusted until the recline indicator shows a proper installation. Since passenger vehicles have seat cushions that slope downward toward the bite, many CSRS have features to help them recline more, or they may say to prop the CSRS using something like a rolled towel. By comparison, school bus seats are flat, so these features or extra steps are very rarely needed. Therefore, if necessary, follow the instructions to stow the CSRS recline adjustment features as allowed. However, certain recline adjustments are required. This CSRS has a foot or stand that must be rotated into position when the model is used rear facing. Always be sure to check instructions carefully. When using a rear facing only CSRS, it's often best to install the CSRS in baseless mode per instructions. On this installed CSRS, note that the level line slopes downward and is not level to the floor. Pull upward on the foot end of the CSRS while pushing downward on the back in order to make it more reclined. Then ensure that the installation is still tight and check the line again. Repeat these steps if necessary.